Vous écoutez Drops of the Lectionary, la méditation quotidienne de la parole de Dieu proposée par la Dalle, l'aumônerie diocésaine de l'apostolat de laïque de la Chidiocèse de Douala. Seigneur, c'est le temps de l'Avent. Tout recommence en toi. Renouvelle notre foi, notre espérance et notre charité pour ta plus grande gloire. Amen. Lecture de la lettre de Saint Paul apôtre aux Romains, chapitre 10, versets 9 à 18. Frère, si de ta bouche tu affirmes que Jésus est Seigneur, si de ton cœur tu crois que Dieu l'a ressuscité d'entre les morts, alors tu seras sauvé. Car c'est avec le cœur que l'on croit pour devenir juste. C'est avec la bouche que l'on affirme sa foi pour parvenir au salut. Parole du Seigneur My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the second day of the Advent season. But it is also the feast day of Saint Andrew the Apostle of Jesus Christ. So the lectionary takes us into Saint Paul's letter to the Romans. Saint Andrew, a disciple of John the Baptist, was one of the first to be called by Jesus to follow him closely. He was also one of the first, after the resurrection, to zealously preach the gospel to the path, point of accepting death, death for the sake of Christ. St. Paul writes to the Christians in Rome today, telling them that when you have faith, and when your faith motivates you to say Jesus is Lord, and that the particular Jesus you are talking about is the one who died and rose, then be sure of your salvation. Now, when we say today that Jesus is Lord, it does not mean half of what it meant in the days of the apostles under the Roman Empire. A typical Roman coin in the days of Jesus, that which was used for buying and selling, had on it the effigy of Caesar with the inscription Caesar on one side, the other end of it, it had Kyrios which means Lord. So the idea was that the emperor Caesar was Lord and the coin said it all. So to say that Jesus is Lord, the obvious question was, who is not Lord? Caesar, of course. And this was tantamount to treason, a political statement that necessarily led people to death under the Roman Empire. St. Andrew was one of the first to make this claim in public and to accept death, which came with it, and salvation as a result. When we say today that Jesus is Lord, we might not have to face Caesar. But remembering St. Andrew today, we consider the challenges of professing, of living, of celebrating, and of praying according to our faith in Jesus, in the world in which we live. Caesar died 2,000 years ago, but he seems to have returned in the form of power, in the form of cheap popularity, in the form of wealth, things that seem to be controlling our lives. So to say that Jesus is Lord is equivalent to saying, love of Jesus compels me to put him above all things. To say that Jesus is Lord is to give him priority in our lives. In another letter to the Philippians, he writes, our citizenship is from heaven, even as we live in this world. Advent is the time to reconnect more strongly with the divine citizenship that we have in the Lord, to stay alert in faith, 
to repent from my recurrent sins and to prepare for the coming of the one who is greater than Caesar, Jesus our Lord. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are Lord. You are Lord indeed in my life. May your name be exalted above all other names in all that I do and in all that I say. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is Father Michael with Adal.